Hi, I'm Peter with Canterbury Farms. We're at Canterbury Farms Nursery right now. And I'm going to give everybody a lesson on the bad freeze we had that you might think your plants are dead and they're really not. So what you want to do is you want to trim them back to where you start to see green and then fertilize them. And the way to do that is, we'll start with the hibiscus. Hibiscus, you have two of them, okay? They look dead to you. But if you zoom in here, Anna, you can see all the green coming. So you want to cut right below. And hibiscus are fast growers. You want to cut them level. Even though I might be trimming off a little dead, you want to give them like a round haircut because they grow so fast and they'll come in so full for you. Okay? But you want to cut all the dead off. And this is called a red hot hibiscus. Okay? So I made a circle out of it. Nice tight ball. Now, the most important thing when you're finished trimming, I'll go over that in a second, one second here. Here's another hibiscus. Here's an example. See? That's dead, right? But if you take your finger and you scrape the cambia of the trunk, you'll start to see green. See the green? Okay? It'll come back from the bottom. See the green? So, you could take a hibiscus and cut it all the way down. See the green, Anna? Cut them all the way down. And hibiscus are such fast growers. This needs to be repotted to the top level, level with the pot, I'm to say, and then pack new dirt around it if it was in a pot. If it's in your screen porch, or if it's in the front of your house, or your front doorway, you'd want to repot it if it was low in the pot like that. But if it's top of the pot, go ahead and cut it back that far. It won't hurt the plant at all. It's a hibiscus. People think their hibiscus are dead, but they're not. Um, but you can see all the green that's going to come back from the bottom just like this one okay this one's all going to come back now I kept see here it's a good, perfect example you want to keep trimming until you see green okay see the green see the green Anna you want to keep trimming until you see green and it'll come back full and beautiful but it will not come back that nice if you don't fertilize it. So I'm going to walk over here. I'm going to grab the same fertilizer that we grow our plants with here at the farm. It's a, it's a six month time release. Now, I make bags for customers for a month. You could buy six months, you could buy nine months, you could buy one year fertilizer. This happens to be a four month fertilizer. I take that back, it's not six months. But you can do it twice a year. You can do it in March. And right now is the perfect time of the year to fertilize. You want to trim back your plants. I got it mixed with melorganite. And you won't hurt the plant. Nice handful around each plant. Won't hurt the plant at all. And give it a good shot of water. And within probably, if we have warm weather, four to six weeks, this thing will be up here. That's how fast I biscuits grow. Okay? Now, move over to another plant. We have azaleas, people own azaleas, okay? We had such a fall spring this year where December and January was in the 80s. So plants were throwing out all new growth. So even though it's a cold hardy plant, the new growth got whacked. So the best thing to do is cut off all the brown. Again, right back to the green. Cut all the brown off. Trim your plant back, okay? People are like, oh, if it's flowering, should I trim it? You can enjoy the flowers now and trim it in you know another week or so, but it really needs to be trimmed back. And again, you want to bring it right into proportion with each other. Pull out your dead flowers. It'll produce more energy towards, towards the plant. And then again, grab some fertilizer and make sure you fertilize your plants. Uh, you gotta be careful when you buy your fertilizer too because you could buy a real fast release fertilizer you don't know. Uh, like a 10-10-10. It's good fertilizer. It only lasts for like two months. It's a hot fertilizer, meaning like these hot plants. plants. So be careful when you put that down. If your plants are older and established, 10 10 is not going to burn your plant. But if it's, if it's a freshly new plant within like six months, three months, six months, then yeah, go with some good time release fertilizer. I will never use any other fertilizer but time release fertilizer. Now here's, here's a wax myrtle bush, okay? Again, it's a cold hardy plant, it doesn't freeze. 
but it got hit by the cold, all the new growth. So something like this, I would give it a nice haircut. You know, you can use a pair of hedgers if you have a hedge of these. You don't need to use hand pruners. Okay. Give it a nice cut. I believe in rounding things off. It makes it real full and real bushy. Nice and tight. See, I'm finding this dead branch in here. I'll cut it out. Okay. Then I'll grab my fertilizer. Get a good shot of food. Tend to love and care. You know, if plants don't get fed, it's like you and I, if we don't eat, we get sick, you know, we get weak. When plants are fed with good fertilizer, good time release fertilizer, March and July is a good time to do it. Um, springtime, middle of the summer, because the summer fertilization will carry you over into the winter months. After that, you can plant some dormant a little bit. They can ride out the winter months. They don't really grow a lot anyway. And you'll, uh, you'll see by doing this, by fertilizing, your plants will be colorful, flower strong, fight off funguses, insects, because they're healthy. If they're weak, they're going to get sick. Now, this plant here is another cold hardy hedge plant that got whacked by the cold. Not much trimming on this one, you know, just a little bit. If you have a hedge of these, if anything's out of proportion and it looks, bring it back into proportion. Get it nice and tight. Fertilize it. So it can grow. If you don't fertilize it, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to sit there and give you a little bit of growth. It'll be yellow, it'll be hungry. Got to fertilize. So hopefully that was a good tip for you guys. If you have any questions, call us at Canterbury Farms 727 857 0242. Thanks a lot.